Allergies are disease in disguise. Left untreated, they can lead to serious chronic diseases. That's why today I'm going to be talking about gut health, allergies, the eight monster foods. Food allergies, they usually start off early in life as colic or repeated infections or eczema. And then they can lead to things like asthma or migraines or digestive problems. And then the skin disorders and chronic fatigue. And then they can lead to arthritis or ulcers or obesity or autoimmune diseases or a whole plethora of other conditions. Hello, everyone. I'm Dr. James Christosik, a.k.a. Dr. Good Carbs. And I'm Northeast Ohio's leading expert in functional medicine since 1986. And in just a minute, I'm going to tell you about some of the natural remedies you can use to prevent food allergies and to help to, re to relieve the symptoms. The incidence of food allergies is on the rise. Although it's possible for any food to cause an allergy, there are eight monster foods that are most common. So let's dig right in. There are two main types of food allergies, immediate and delayed onset, and each one can dis you know, disturb gut health. But both can trigger an immune system reaction or a non-immune system reaction. Immediate allergy symptoms can range from a stuffy nose to itchy eyes, sneezing, wheezing, hacking and hives, and of course, digestive problems. Delayed allergies are often related to gut health problems like bloating or gas or diarrhea or constipation, as well as autoimmune diseases like celiac or ulcerative colitis or rheumatoid arthritis or migraines. A more detailed explanation of both reactions can be found in the video entitled Gut Health Allergies Beyond Gluten-Free in the link below found in the comments. When someone has an allergy reaction to a food, their immune system mounts an attack on the protein in that food. Inflammatory compounds like histamine and cytokinins are released. The symptoms can be mild or moderate or severe, depending on the type of reaction. Now, I should mention that food intolerances, which can really disturb your gut health, they don't involve the immune system and can be mistaken for, for food allergies. As an example of food intolerance, is lactose intolerance, the inability to digest the sugar lactose found in milk. Speaking of milk, it's my number one on the list of the eight most common foods for allergies, the eight monster foods. Cow milk allergy is common because most children drink cow's milk before the age of six months, as well as it's found in many foods. Number two, eggs. It's possible to be allergic to egg whites, but not egg yolks or vice versa. Number three, nuts. Immediate allergies to nuts can be both life-threatening and are responsible for over 50% of the anaphylactic reactions that are related to deaths. Number four, peanuts. They're not actually a nut. They're actually a legume like lentils or peas. But like tree nuts, a peanut allergy can trigger an anaphylactic reaction and can be life-threatening. Legumes and beans are also common food allergies. Number five, fish, especially shellfish like shrimp or lobster. Interestingly, even the vapors from cooking shellfish can trigger a shellfish allergy. Number six, wheat and other gluten grains. Wheat has over 100 proteins the body can react to and easily upset the gut health. Plus, wheat or gluten grains are a staple in the American diet. Number seven, soy. It's found in infant formulas. It's used as filler and flavor enhancer, and it's found in many processed foods. Number eight, citrus fruits and strawberries. Citrus fruits are consumed frequently, and they're a staple in the American diet. Although the skin scratch test is the go-to test for food immediate allergy reactions, there is an IgE blood test that's also available, and it's very often used by conventional doctors. On the other hand, a blood test called the ELISA blood test is a common test for delayed food allergies that's not used by conventional doctors, but it's frequently used by functional medicine doctors. Now, if you've had either one of these tests yourselves, or you'd like to learn more about them, then leave a comment below. And at the same time, if you like this video and want to see more like it, then subscribe to my channel. And tomorrow, 
I'll be talking about gut health and drug-free solutions to prevent and reduce the symptoms of food allergies. Well, that's all for now, folks. I'm Dr. James Christosik, a.k.a. Dr. Good Carbs, and I promise I'll keep probing the research to find natural cures for your health care problems. Until then, here's to your health.